we feeling after watching the finale? Let's say we just watched the finale. How's the, how are you guys feeling? I'm feeling really good. How are you feeling after the finale? Feeling really good? No, Deep I was super God, heartbroken. Um, but it was so cool that Rob, before uh, any of the scripts um, were, he just told me the whole idea and laid it out and said, Veronica is the best as an underdog. And like that's when you root for her the most and uh, sort of you know, having this on again, off again, teenage sort of thing, he kind of wants to move the show. And, and I totally agree. And when seeing it from that view, uh, it really made sense. And um, so I, I totally understand it. And I'm sad to be missing part of the creative experience with these guys, but uh, totally understand for the good of the show. What about you, Kristen? I'm in mourning and I knew about it during the pitch meetings with Hulu, and it always felt, I, I do understand Rob's perspective, but it has, you know, it's been 15 years of playing this relationship that's been really fun for Jason and I, and so, yeah, it's like, I guess all good things are really good things because they have a foreseeable end, you know, you yeah. can't really. I thought it was really cool the way he set it up too, to give uh, Veronica sort of an impetus to, to take hold of her life and like, uh, you know, not be so cynical and like, you know, go after her and chase her dreams. So if that can be, you know, something, then it's part of a story. You know what I mean? So yeah. if you understand it from that point I of view. I guess Logan's always been her fuel and he's still her fuel from the grave. Beautiful. Love you, hon. <laughs> Some people have say have said that I've spoken to other reporters who've watched. We didn't see a body, which seemed a little strange. That's what I said. A hot body, you mean? You, we did not An see extremely uh, the hot body. We hot saw body. the hot body early on, but we did not see a hot body. Uh, no, after the explosion, but... Oh, those are his abs, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real Jason. Pulling out of the this rubble. <laughs> the way this sounds, that's... But you do, you do see Veronica uh, crying as she's driving away from Neptune, and you hear her listening to his voice over messages. She saw the body. Yeah. yeah. How much crying was there on that day of shooting? Everybody freaking magically disappeared, just so you know. All the producers were gone on my last day. They all said bye, and it was really nice. And then I was like, there's nobody here. And I was like, I went to my trailer, and I was like, oh, man. I didn't sad. know so until, uh, go ahead. No, no, you. I didn't know until the very last day of shooting, which, ironically, we were all on set. And I found out. Uh, Percy, see Percy's look? That's his guilty face right there. I told people on the cast, and they were like, ah, it's so good, Jay. Yeah. For real? <laughs> Hand that mic over. That's crazy. When he, when he told me, it was three days after he had heard. And it made me, he told me right before I'm going into a scene with Kristen. And me and him are a lot closer than, it, you know, than the original series. In the original series, I didn't know anything about how things ended. So it would have been super devastating. But to have to live with it until it happened was tough. You know, that, that, that was really tough. So. And now you know that we're the new Game of Thrones. We're killing people that you don't think we're going to kill. So just watch out. Yeah. Everybody, anybody. Rob's not scared. Right? Um, so when you did find out, which was a long time ago, was there tears? Was there a shock value? Or was it more like you completely understood? Somewhere between shock and understanding. I mean, there weren't tears per se because I knew Jason wasn't. We weren't killing Jason because that would bring me to tears. Because <laughs> hot bod. Hot bod. We weren't killing Jason, but it was um, a chance for me to step out of the acting role and and look a little bit more into the writing perspective and the creating perspective, where you have to figure out how to fuel a story for longer, and you have to figure out what the most interesting thing to watch is. Because interesting things to watch, uh, like nobody loves Handmaids because it's like a blast to watch. It's devastating, and you're rooting for something, and that's why there's something wrong is happening. There's pain, and I think that it's. It's yeah, it's interesting to step outside of being an actor and look at a story as a whole and say, oh yeah, she is, she is better as an underdog. Mm -hmm. 